Wayne Rainey began his career as a dirt tracker, eventually competing in the AMA Grand National Championship. But following his success in the novice 250cc road race class, Rainey followed Eddie Lawson overseas in 1984, riding in 250GP for Kenny Roberts Yamaha. It was during the 1987 Superbike National Championship that his intense rivalry began with Kevin Schwantz, as the two battled it out for the U.S. title. It would continue on the international stage, to the great delight of fans worldwide. In 1988, Rainey returned to Europe for the first of six seasons for Yamaha in the premier 500cc division, riding the Yamaha YZR500. He finished third to teammate Eddie Lawson, and with Kevin McGee, won the Suzuka 8 hours for Yamaha on a superbike. In 1989, Rainey finished second in the 500GP class, again to Lawson. Then from 1990 to 1992, Rainey ran off three consecutive 500cc crowns for Yamaha in dominating fashion. His first title was marked by seven wins and 14 podiums, his second by finishing off the rostrum only once, and a third consecutive title for the Roberts Yamaha team with nine podium finishes. Rainey was well on his way to his fourth consecutive title in 1993 with four wins, leading the championship and leading the race when he suffered a career-ending crash at the Italian Grand Prix. Rainey's days as a GP rider may have ended, but his life in racing certainly did not. He managed Team Marlboro Yamaha and riders Norik Abe, Morris Caparossi, and Jean-Michel Bale. He competed in supercars, as had his father Sandy, and today lives in a home overlooking Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, where the downhill left-hand turn nine has been named Rainey Curve. Today, Wayne Rainey and his partners have taken on the task of developing new American talent and reinvigorating the sport of road racing in North America. But among his many accomplishments, past, present, and future, Wayne Rainey will forever be associated with Yamaha from his days at the pinnacle of the sport.